The US is losing an information war to alternative media outlets, including RT. That's the message from Hillary Clinton to Congress members. The US Secretary of State says Washington needs to step up its propaganda efforts. Foreign media, which provide alternative views on world news, views which often run in contrast to the coverage of events by the U.S. mainstream media. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. I'll be very blunt in my assessment. Some five years ago, Western media outlets, including BBC and CNN, had a near monopoly in the coverage of world news. More and more viewers across the world tune into various foreign media to get a fresh take on events. Clearly, the United States feels on the defensive, in part because it can no longer monopolize not only the terms of, uh, you know, authority in these countries, but also the terms of the debate. There's other information out there. There are other uh, points of view. And those points of view are profoundly damaging to a country that believes that its point of view is the only point of view or should be the only point of view. U.S. legislators are now crafting a law that would give the administration increased flexibility to go after WikiLeaks and the likes. And now the administration is seeking more funding to step up U.S. propaganda efforts abroad. During the Cold War, we did a great job in getting America's message out. We can't allow ourselves to be outcommunicated by our enemies. But Secretary Clinton's statement made it official. The U.S. is fighting a global information war and it's losing. I'm Ganesh Chekhan reporting from Washington. The business corporation was a relatively insignificant institution. Today, it is all pervasive, like the church, the monarchy, and the Communist Party in other times and places. The corporation is today's dominant institution. This documentary examines the nature, evolution, impacts, and possible futures of the modern business corporation. Initially given a narrow legal mandate, what has allowed today's corporation to achieve such extraordinary power and influence over our lives? We begin our inquiry as scandals threaten to trigger a wide debate about the lack of public control over big corporations. I do think there is uh, an overhang uh, over the market of distrust. This 95% or some percent, huge percentage of the business community are honest reveal all their assets, We've got compensation programs that are balanced, but there are some bad acts. You don't think so? Well, it depends, you know. Dean, I've got some time and a camera. Why don't you stop by? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> do, do you think? This president, I think, has exposed himself as a guy over and over and over again who has a deep-seated hatred for white people or the white culture. This guy is, I believe, a racist. Much for being with us. Next time we can have, next you, time we can have a more decent conversation. Yeah, well, you're one sick, miserable, evil SOB. Well, well, thank you for I coming on anyway. Know, was, no, was, we will no, analyze the Obama. Now it is something that we have warned about on this program for more than a year, and thanks to President Barack Obama, the United States of America is preparing to send one and a half billion dollars to the radical extremists inside the Muslim Brotherhood. As Lisa Stark reports, it's the latest in a growing list of baby products with safety problems. Dangerous levels of lead. Toxic secret. Homeowners are demanding that the federal government act immediately. Of environmental disasters. He's fighting for his life after he was attacked by chimps and dragged a half a mile. The Mexican national contracted H1N1. Quarantine. A brutal killing of a 21-year-old woman in Lima outbreak of a highly contagious and deadly virus. Radioactive steam is escaping through the cracks. We all heard about the end of the world in 2012, but could it be much, much sooner? Think about the, the natural disasters that could occur in your area. Think about attacks that could come like 9-11 from outside forces and talk to your family about your work and what they need to do to prepare for the unforeseen. A crisis of leadership. Tightened its aim on the eastern seaboard, threatening 65 million people. Alien invasion. If aliens invaded, who would step up to lead us in that fight, and could we even win? FEMA camps. The government is trying to censor the bird flu terrorists. 
fear virus, a grain H5N1 or the avian bird flu kills 60% of people infected. Researchers were deliberately trying to create a deadly superbug crackdown on civil liberties fears of terrorist threats. Still very deadly, very deadly. It wasn't transmissible human to human. They are, are they assuming that it eventually will be? Virus enemies. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Coal makes us sick. Oil makes us sick. It's global warming. It's ruining our country. It's ruining our world. The child, we just want to help you find her. You seem to be suggesting okay, you want to help me war. find her, then let me speak. If you want to help me find her, I, I'm trying you to get the to facts from you. Now. I'm trying to get the facts from you to help you find your granddaughter. And the what I'm asking you is, is the reason to believe your daughter knows where she is? I'm going to say this again, and if you want to cut me off, then everybody is going to know that you're not being sensitive to me, her grandmother. Our need is to find Kaylee. So we here at America's Newsroom will look out for that child, which is more than we can say for what the family did. You've cited Alaska's proximity to Russia mm -hmm. as part of your foreign policy experience. What did you mean by that? That Alaska has a very narrow maritime border between a foreign country, Russia, and on our other side, the land uh, boundary that we have with uh, Canada. It, it's funny that a comment like that was uh, kind of made to, uh, care, I don't know, you know, reporters. Mocked. Yeah, mocked, I guess that's the word, yeah. Well, explain to me why that enhances your foreign policy credentials. Our, our next door neighbors are foreign countries. They're in the state that I am the executive of. And have you ever been in involved with any negotiations, for example, with the Russians? It's Alaska. It's just right over the border. It is from Alaska that we send those out to make sure that an eye is being kept on this very powerful nation, Russia, because they are right there. They are right next to um, to our state. And when it comes to establishing your worldview, I was curious, what newspapers and magazines did you regularly read before you were tapped for this to stay informed and to understand the I've world? I've read most of them, again, with a great appreciation for the press, for the media. But like what I mean, specifically, I'm curious that you... Um, all of them, any of them that um, have, have been in front of me over all these years. Um, I, have a a I have plane and stuff. I'm always envious of the knitters. Yeah. Hello, America. It's me, Captain Happy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> Foreign policy. <laughs> 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 Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. We're on a roll. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, no. This show is completely schizophrenic. Rock Obama's like, oh, there's going to be just lots of hope and change. There's no hope and change. Oh, my gosh. What a fear monger that Glenn Beck is. Go out and spend. You know, I'm going to give you a couple stock tips. Why? Don't really. Seriously. Oh, my gosh. Progressive fascism. They're working overtime trying to make things better. Oh, Glenn, you're crazy. Shut up. Gee, I, you know, I'm not a racist. The Republicans just need to be Republican progressives. They weren't Christian. They didn't believe in God. Hey, we're going to build this thing. It's going to look like a spaceship. President Bush was the one who started the big government trend. Gee, are you a socialist? I wonder if Barack Obama is a socialist. Now we're going to have a nice, intelligent discussion here, gentlemen, and I'm going to moderate this discussion. Okay. So you keep your mouth shut. Well, okay. it's, you took it totally out of context. Look, I know what you pinheads did. I, I, I can read the news. Yeah, pinheads like you are encouraging intoxication. Oh, look, at least Cox right, is man said, enough. I said At least okay, Cox is me. man enough. To, yeah, I can't read it. There's no, there's no words on it. There's no words there. Sure. The people in Afghanistan didn't follow my father. Sure they did. The Al-Qaeda uh, people were trained yeah. there. The Al-Qaeda people what were trained. See, I'm more angry about it than you are. So, yeah, this is bull. Cool. This is why Americans don't trust the government. No, this is why your stupidity gets in the way of rational right. discussion. Care about them? We deal with Americans that way, and I deal with it all the time, and you know I do, with child predators and everything else. But I, well, good lie! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! Fucking thing sucks. He, he doesn't, doesn't have, have a right to be in this country. What? But that has nothing to do with the yes, fact that he does. was drunk. He should have been he deported. What? He, he should have been deported. And this mayor and the police chief didn't deport.
support him. Believe me, any of that? We just heard the words. What are you? What are you? That you didn't say that? You want me to play it again for you? What about George Bush? He had nothing to do with it. Director he had Dan. nothing to do so with it. justice. This has nothing to do you with that want anarchy. Mayor. mayor. You want nothing to do no. with that mayor. You want anarchy. No, what you I want, want open border anarchy. What, what, I, what want. I want. No, look, stop the BS here. Stop uh, the crap. Uh, from August 07 to August 08, you know, his under your tutelage, you know full, it's about Ramos. It's not Latino. Right, I guess. Oh, yes. Oh, it wasn't yes. An investment. As there have been heroes in the midst of this enormous tragedy in Japan, there have also been some goats. Glenn Beck. I'm not saying God is, uh, you know, causing earthquakes. Well, I'm not saying that he... I'm not not saying that either. <laughs> There's a message being sent, and that is, hey, you know that stuff we're doing? Not really working out real well. Maybe we should stop doing some of it. <laughs> I'm just saying. What does that even mean? What do the people of Japan do to deserve this? Is that what he's saying? That God is punishing them or all of us? What an absurd and sick thing to say. Is that the kind of thing that Beck's God does? Kill tens of thousands of people, including men, women, and children, because they've angered him, at least according to Beck? And how would you divine what causes such cosmic wrath? Wait, let me guess. Glenn Beck will tell us what God is thinking. Hucksters and frauds have been doing this for centuries. We've just got Glenn Beck here, who's just a sadder, more pathetic form of that right now. Just for once, have some decency. Don't wanna be an American idiot. Knives armed with chemical, biological, nuclear weapons. Fanatic terrorist number 11. September 11th, killers September 11th. Terrorist, terrorist of Al Qaeda. Terrorist, nuclear weapons. Terrorist, 9/11. Terror, terror, terrorist, evil. September 11th, September 11th. The terrorist war and danger. September 11th, terrorism, global terrorism, terrorism, terrorist, 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 the terror, terror. Terrorist, terrorist, terrorism. September 11, global terrorism, terrorist, terror, terrorism. September 11, world terrorism, terrorist, terrorism. September 11, global terrorism. September the 11th, terror, 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 terror. Weapons of mass destruction. September the 11th, September the 11th, terrorist. The evil terrorist, 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 no. Terrorism. The words are hypnotically repeated. Terrorism, terrorist, terrorist threat. And of course, believed to be linked to Al Qaeda. But it's the so-called war on terrorism that's in our faces practically 24-7 as the inescapable focus of our existence. One day, our grandchildren will look at war on terror. Terrorism. Attack helicopters, which will escalate uh, the conflict.